Carbon 11 is pretty much at its best of visibility right now. Uh, you know, round about the third week of October, it's closest to the Earth on the 21st of October, and it's closest to the Sun around the 4th of November. So really, this is pretty much the best time to be looking for this object. The best place to look now is in the evening sky. So you need to be looking as it gets dark, obviously after the sunset, when the sun's above the horizon, it'll be much too bright. As the sky darkens, the comet will, first of all, be moving over a matter of days past the bright star Arcturus, and then it'll be further round towards the southwest, uh, beneath the stars of the Summer Triangle, you're going to need some kind of app or find a chart to help you locate it. We've got one of those in our video. Uh, you know, and, but with a pair of binoculars sweeping around the sky, it doesn't stand out as a fairly bright, fuzzy object. If we're very lucky and you've got a very dark sky, it might be possible to see it with the naked eye as well. Despite the fact that Comets like Lemon have tails and this big coma of gas around them. Actually, the nucleus in the very centre is probably quite small, probably only a couple of kilometres across, so hill or mountain size, it's remarkable that we see them so well. It isn't going to be like, say, Hale Bot was, for those who remember it back in the late 1990s, or even Neowise in 2020. It's going to be a little tough to see with the eye. But that said, it's a reasonably bright comet as they go. The fact that you can see easily with binoculars makes it fairly unusual. And I think it's uh, really, for that reason alone, is something to go and enjoy, particularly if you've never seen a comet before.